Hello, this is Tony of Tony's Music and the administrator of Dibley and Tony PJs, which is now called Graphic Call Design. Um, I'm going to start off with doing the design and animation of a GIF character tutorial, and it's uh, part five, and this is doing the prepping of the character for animation, right? So I'm going to start off with Affinity Designer. Let's click on that. I'll go on. Right. Let's wait for that a second. Okay, now what we need to do is close the new document splash screen and click on File, Open Recent, Design Tutorial. Right. Now, if you remember from last week, um, I said I'd done a mistake and what it was was this beard because I designed a longer beard and when I put it as a child layer of the face it took off the bottom end of the beard because a child layer will only show when it's inside the parent layer so whatever the circumference of the parent layer is of whatever the image is that's where it will show. It won't show outside of that parent layer image. So that's what's happened, right? So what I need to do in order to get the um, beard back up properly is go to the face layer, which is where it was. There it is, that's the curve there. Um, that one is the beard. Now if I move it out of there, so it's no longer uh, child layer of the face I can put it above and you'll see the whole of the beard right now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to group the beard with the face because I need it to be connected to each other so that when I do sort it out it will be it will show up properly right so what I need to do is I just need to um, do that right so I'm gonna click on control or in uh, on an Apple MacBook or whatever it is, it should be command instead, right? And now I'm going to right click and click on group, and then grouped, and then I'm just going to name that face, right? So we know what it is. Oh, I've done the face with two E's, so I need to take off the one E, right? Unfortunately, I've got a problem with my uh, keyboard, although well. it either does too many E's or not enough, or whatever letter I'm doing at the time. Right, now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go straight on to File, Personas, Export. Right, now on here, what we're going to do is go on to the layers first, and for each one of these, I'm going to click on all the way down to right arm from left foot. Right, I'm going to do that and then I'm going to get the shift key I'll to select them all. Oops, I missed the right arm, so do that one. Then I'll use the control key for that one and I'll use the miss command key to get the extra one. Now I'm going to miss the head itself and then get the front air. Oops, I've lost them again. Let's do that again, sorry. Mistake there. We go up there first. Let's go that one, that one. Nose, I don't need to do the eyes because the eyes are separate anyway. The face I need to do because you've got the, the mole on the side, doesn't whatever it is. And the back hair's got some. Um, what's the tummy and the hip as well so all of them I'm going to create slices for them so I'm going to go on to slices now batch builder I'm going to do JSON stub and then export preset I'm going to use single PNG and then I'm just going to export slices like that and then I'm just going to 
it's already on designer gift character so I'll just export it to that right export once you export it to that then I'm just gonna take this down a bit and look for design I give character on here I see where it is I need to find it try and find it anyway I can't find it there okay now not to worry what we'll do then we'll just go on to back on to personas designer right now we're back on there we just uh, start by clicking on place image tool and there we're in design uh, what's it and we have to take all the pieces one by one open do that and replace what's there with what you've got so that's the back hair the back hair's got to go to where the back hair is so you just take it down to the back hair back down there do that back here PNG image look what I can do is just take that up there put that there for a second I need to click off that back hair there delete that then what I'm going to do is grab that and pull that out there like that there. oh dear I'm having trouble with this today you can get out that's it well now all I need to do is take off the PNG and the full stop between the PNG and back air right I don't need that right that's the back air so that one's one done we've got to do the same with everything else that we've got there except for that we don't need that and just get rid of that actually don't need that for now the face so we do that right so we put that on all you do is click if you do a left click when you've selected the actual item it should come on automatically the right size right so you don't have to worry about that so all we need to do is drag it to where the face is put it where the face group is and take the face group off right that take that off we need to get rid of that delete that one and you've got face png there I'll just take off the png and the dot okay and that's right now all right um next what's next after that front hair do that one put that on there like that all right and then where's the front hair a bit higher up isn't it so I'll put that there in front of there and click off that delete and that's front air right we might be a bit, we might be a bit out I can, I can straighten it up after don't worry um, I'm just going to do Ip, let's do the hip next. Whoops. Open. Hip. Put the hip there. If you got it all all done, it'll be all right. It'll look all right at the end. Don't worry about it. It's just a matter of getting all the right places, parts in the right places. There's the hip. That one. There's right, so how you do that. Get rid of that group. Delete that one and just do okay. Then next one left here.
Right, it's the left ear there. Where's his left ear? Down the bottom here. one left arm okay so I've got to point where his left arm is or to the top I'll put that here move that left arm Simple as this, really. You just do it with everything that you've had to copy. Um, it's anything that is just one picture. Because if you do, if you have separates, then it doesn't work necessarily. So I've tried it myself, and you just get part of it showing up, not all of it. Right. So left hand. Do that. I'll have to change the, the names of them after anyway. We'll find out for sure after. Don't worry about it. But this is how to go about getting it to work right. Uh, it's it's a, a bit long winded, but you've got to do it. Don't do it, it won't work. It does seem a bit long winded anyway to me. But if you don't do it this way, it won't work at all. So I've tried it many times. So. Just get rid of that curve there, delete that one, and put and just take the PNG off there. I don't think it doesn't work for some reason. If you don't name it right, it uh, won't work, so you have to name it right. Left foot, um, left thigh, right, so do left thigh. There you go, almost there. The left side we'll put with that one there. Change that down. Like that. And just get this one and delete it. Yep. Mouth. To the mouth. So, find the mouth at the bottom somewhere. Yeah. That one. Delete that one. Okay. And nose. A bit long windy but you've got to do this to get it working um right there's a bit more to do i'm afraid right here click that on yeah i ain't got his head in the right place so don't worry about it i'll sort it out in a minute and everything so um ain't gonna worry about it yet anyway so don't worry about that yet the one here, right here, there, and then delete that one, and then right here, because I can move up about anyway, after, because I've got to get uh, it on something else anyway, in a bit. But I'm just preparing and ready for doing it. Um, so that's that. That's the right here, so right foot. There we 
go, put that on there, and too hard, it ain't too hard anyway, it's quite easy really, just, just time consuming. Won't be long now. Right, right foot, um, right arm. There you go, that's the right arm. That there. There in the right arm area. Take that one off. Delete that one. So, next piece. Right hand. So get rid of that one. Right hand. And the last one is the right leg, right thigh. Yeah. Oh, it's maybe dead on with that one, I. Oh, that ain't right, is it? Have to change that one. That one's out. Just now that's out. So wait a minute. Eh? That's out somewhat. That is. What I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to change that one. That one's gotta be changed. What I need to do is just get a big black black mark on there. Let's do that on there. Just, look. Let's change that to there and put it down. Where's that one there? Like that. And uh, change that to black. I'm going to click that and that. I'm just going to add them together. Oh, I can't do it, can I? Oh. Yeah, I could put that on there. Like that. Like that. Right. And you see what I've done there. I'm going to add it. I'm going to put it in there. You've done it now, don't you? Oh, I've got to go off that and do it again because I've done a mistake there. What I need to do is just get rid of that right thigh first. Sorry. The problem there was that the. Uh, if you see, it isn't covering the whole of the foot. So that one needs to be covering that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut that off there. Flip that off, go back on there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna add this to it and just do it lower like that and then pull that in. You'll see what I'm doing in a minute. I'm going to just put that into there like that. That's covered that. So, when you take away the shoe, you will see it's completely covered with black, right? So you do that, right? Now, what I need to do is I need to remake that one. So I'm going to do that one again. By the right thigh, I need to re-export as a PNG. Because uh, I need to. Because I screwed up on the last one. Which happens sometimes, but there you go. And that's the right thigh. Do that one. Yes, I want to replace it. There you go. Now what I'm going to do is then right thigh boom like that, and put that one in that will be just perfect right now that should be okay right and with that one need to get rid of that one delete that and then just change that name to Right, now that's almost prepared. I'm just going to straighten up his face because his face isn't right now for some reason. I don't know whether to put his head in the right place or not. There you go, it needs to be over there. And his ears need to be moved properly. His hair needs to move properly. Left ear needs to be moved over a bit. 
Right, right here needs to be, he's okay. His hair, let's have a look at his hair. It needs to be moved across a little bit, I think. Back hair, look, we'll move that that way a little bit. That's better. Yeah? Maybe bring it up a bit. Uh -huh. Maybe down a little touch. Whoops. Got the wrong thing again. Damaged it now again, I Yeah. So will you do some things sometimes and just ruin it? At it. Okay. Let's try and get his hair back hair again. Oh, that's it. That's okay, that'll do. A weird kind of hair style and that, but it's different anyway, isn't it? Right. Anyway, that's the main part of it. And the next bit is adding something else, which is um, a character um, image template, which I've got a template, so I will get one to show you what the template is going on uh, iBooks and oh, where is it cartoon and uh, add-ons i4 that's it there it is oh no template sample project templates there it is right so now you could have the human front head full template PSD so I'll open that and that is a template and what we're going to do with the template is we're going to select that or all that copy right get rid of the that now and paste it on here and what you have to do is try and make it down to the size you want it to go on. There, like that. And cover that particular character with the new one. Oh, that's a bit too small. I have to go a bit, a bit up a bit. Bring it down a bit more like that. that has got to be about there. Bring him up a little bit like that. Okay, right. There we go. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to use this template to put all the stuff in. All right, so to start off with, we're going to click on this one here. And as you can see, it gives you left arm, left, whatever, all the parts. And we just got to move them into those particular places. All right, so we go, let's start off with left foot. We'll put the left foot in the left foot place there remove that left foot group delete that right right foot in the right foot group there delete that one left thigh into left thigh group meet there in front oh I've put it in the wrong place here you go you gotta watch out for that right in front of there like that and then Delete that. Right. Um, right throw it into right fire group there. Delete that. Okay. Right, so we've got all the legs parts done. Now we go up to the head. Now you don't need the head. I'm going to do is I'm going to do the left arm and that obviously I've put left arm and it's L arm right so just got to change that to L arm right so there you go oops arm like that and just get rid of that one right now left hand is L hand Left hand, L and we'll put it there. We'll change it to L and first. And get rid of that one. 
delete that one. Our arm, right arm. Can't make sure it's our arm instead. I wasn't sure where I know. I'll put right arm on now where it is. What it is. Yeah. Delete. Right R and I ain't going to worry about yet. Um, I just need to do the hip because the head grips there. Look, I'm just going to get that one up. Whoops. Uh -uh. And I need the hip. I'm going to move that into where the hip is here. Like that. And I'm going to take that one off. As you can see, that all changed then. Did you see that? Now it's only the head, which has got the back hair with it. And the back hair should be with that, shouldn't it? I think so, yeah. Um, not to worry, we're going to go up, up here. And as you can see, it's got a talking head there. You got a talking head. It's got a head image group there, look. So, what you need to do is just check on that and it'll show you different parts. You need to put all the parts in. There, like the back hair. There we go. Take the back hair. Put that in there. Back hair, right. And that's there. Right, now it gives you the right ear, left ear and everything. Some things are marked out correctly and some things aren't. So what, we'll, what we could do is we can bring these up, all the way up to there. Right, let's put it in the back of here. Make it easier for us. Right, so now we go. What we're looking for, right ear and left ear. Right here and left here, I was wrong with them. Now, put that one there and change that to get that, copy that, paste, paste that in there. Just get rid of that bit. Right, and then get rid of that. Delete that. Right, now, um, Where's the left ear? There it is. Oh, can't see what I'm doing here. There's the left ear. Take that up to where the left ear is. On there. Click on that. Copy. Oh. Copy. I should say cut, shouldn't I? Cut. Oh, God, that ain't done it right. Delete. Paste. Okay, so just get rid of that. Left ear. Right. Delete that one. Right. Now we go face group, which is the face itself. Which we got on there somewhere. Where's it? The face there it is. Get that up to there. Delete that one. That's there. Right. Now we got the mouth group. The mouth group, that one, you got to change that to normal. So it's normal. That's going to be normal, that one. So we need to change the mouth to normal. Right, so mouth image goes to normal. Then we put it in normal. Not quite normal. Right, there you go. Mouth image, normal. So it should be okay. Right. Um, nose, nose can go in there. 
now you can just take that in because uh, you can check it and it just goes normal where I look so just put nose don't worry about it you can get rid of that like that it's only if you've got loads of different noses you need it now with the eyes this is the one you've got to watch the eyes because you have the right eyes let's take that up to the right eye like that there and put it above oops that's on the left eye now Right, so what I need to do is open that. Get that out, put it on the right eye there. I'm going to show you what you do with this. First, you have to get this out of here, pull it out of there, and put it into there. Right, the iris has got to go there in the iris group, and that's got to be called the iris. Got two uh, two eyes on it. I need to pull one of them up. That's it. That's all I see. And then the eye white screw in the eye white group. I think. And then there's a mask group there as well. There you do that. And that's it. Right. Now actually, that's not right. I do take that off there. Delete the iris group. That's it. Right. And that's not supposed to be a group. Is it? Oh, I should have done that. I need to watch it that as well. Um, file, export, PNG, selection only. The iris has got to be done because it's an iris. And it's got the different things in it. Yeah, it needs to be one image, the iris does. So, I need to do that. I can save that once, and I can do that for both eyes if I want to. So, do that then. Iris. Bring it back, like that. Click on that, and it's, which one is it, the right eye? Yes, yeah, so it's going to be there, isn't it? Yeah? i just do that, and do that. It's always easy to remember it after the event, fortunately. Delete that. Right, and the eye watch should be okay. Right, well, I could just take that off and put that as well where, like, and just get rid of that. Delete that, right. Because it's only the mask that's left, really. But that'll work. Should do anyway when I do that. We come up with everything. Just need to move the eye slightly down. I think. Yeah. Right, and then I'll we'll go to the same with the left eye in a minute. I'm sort of thinking I forgot to do that, so never mind. I can do the same with the left eye anyway. So, left eye, take that up. You only need loads of different ones if you have been the. Uh, so, go on to the normal. Open that up. Take off the eye white. Delete that. Put that in. Right. Now the iris, I'm just going to get this iris from out of here. Put that in there. Put that eye there. I've done it twice now, so this off. Cut that one. Let's do this one. Oops. There's the iris. That's the left eye. Put that in there. Okay, I can get rid of them. Delete that, delete that, and delete that. I don't know whether you realise what I've done then, but I'd actually had to change the iris into a PNG, right? Because 
I made it from three different parts. So it ain't one part, that's what it is. It has to be the one image, say, for that particular part in order for it to do what it's supposed to do. And I've just got to get that to be in the right place. And I can check that in a minute. Bring it over a bit there, somewhere there. Isn't it? And that's our script's got to be deleted. Yeah, and that normal's got to be there. I think that's about right, yeah. Okay, that's all that done. What have we got left? Um, oh, the right bear, the left brow is pretty easy to do. Right brow, just got to take off the gap of there. Like I thought I did last time. Delete that. Left brow, I'm going to do the same with that one. Get that up and take off the... Okay. And then delete the group. There. You only need the group to see if you're going to have several different types of um, movement on the face. If you don't, if you ain't going to, it doesn't matter then. Right, so, and then we go front hair there. Oops. I nearly took it the wrong place then. So I've got that in the in the group. I didn't want to put it in the group. I wanted to take it in front. And then delete that one. And there's your character already prepared there. We just need to get rid of that. Make sure I've done everything on that. Yeah, I have. I just add a group. I just need to get rid of that. Delete that. Right. Now, them are all in the right positions. What you need to do now is move the points. These points are what are the important things for doing the animation. And we're going to start off with doing the body first. The bone for the body, really. So the bone human, click on there, click on L arm, and that's your left arm once. And you start off with the left hand nub, which you put this one right on the end of his fingertips. The second one is going to be where he's had mixed his wrist there. The third one is going to be the elbow, the forearm is going to be the elbow. And I'm going to do is I'm just going to check something before I continue with that. We need to put that on there, see where his arm is. Yeah, we need to put that last one there. It's got to be on the arm there, which is there, not that. Now we need to do the same with the opposite. So that one will go right there. That one. Try and get them in the middle there for the mouth part there like that. Right, um like that. and then this last one I've got to make sure it was on the arm. There somewhere. Right. Okay, that's fine. Now the hip, which is the main body, you start off with the head nub which is right at the top. Should be right at the top there like that in the middle then you've got the head which should be between around about the nose area maybe a bit lower than the nose even sometimes about there right then the neck will be the back of the neck about there right and the next one should be the torso which is in the middle of the arms about there right and then the hip itself should be right about where his belt is basically that's where the hip should be somewhere about there right that's that one so that's the body done on there you've still got the legs to do the object pivot is down there right 
you got your left thigh, which starts off with a left toe knob, which is going to go right to the end of the foot. There. Then you have the toe, which is the knuckle of the toe. Right, then you have the left foot too, which I'll put at the bottom of the heel. And the left foot, which is on the ankle. There. Right, then we go down a bit. Oops, I've gone too fast. Then the left shank is the knee. Like that, there. And then let's just check the thigh because I want to see how high that is on the, the thigh. There you go. So we'll get it in the middle of that if possible. Try and get that in the middle of that there. Right, so we do that there. Right there, that should be okay. Right, then the right thigh, we do the same sort of thing with that. So, and then once we've done this, be able to do it next week. Be able to do the um, animating of the actual character. Then, hopefully, okay, that should be okay now. That should be fine. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this tutorial um, I'm just gonna do his face uh, the same way but with if the face is on the talking head part right and it's as easy as doing what the rest of it is it's the head bone here like this right and you get your front hair put it in the front hair there left brow you need to get that on the inside of the left brow and the yeah, let me show you if I view zoom 100 zoom 100 oops that's a bit too close isn't it let's go up to his head there now we need to go view zoom out let's do control and minus a bit there we go right left brow it needs to go right there on the end the right brow needs to go right on this end here. Left eye goes smack bang in the middle of the iris there. If it's in the middle, that is. And the right eye goes smack bang in the middle of the right. Here like that. The nose, obviously on the nose. Right, and mouth on the mouth, in the middle somewhere, like that. Face, wherever that is, where's the face one? Where's the face one there somewhere? Where is that supposed to be? Oh, got it in the wrong place. Wait a minute. There, that one goes in the middle as well, somewhere there. Between the nose and the mouth, somewhere like that. Right, and then the right ear and left ear are obvious. Right here goes on the right here, yeah. she's there. Oops, put it a bit there, like that. Right, I'm going to find the left ear now. Left ear there, that goes there. And then the back air was on the back air, obviously. Back air goes on the back air, which can be the back there, don't matter where really. Usually somewhere around there. Right. Uh, so that's basically how you do it. And then once you've done that, all you do is zoom back to the original size. To fit right now, once you've done that, all you do is select all, file, export, all document now, selection only as a PSD, preserve editability on it as well in case you make a mistake. So, you need to do that right and then export that, and then you can save as a design tutorial character PSD and that should be ready for um, 
doing the animation next week okay i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did please like and subscribe to tony's music thank you very much